Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. It is the Monday Mayhem Wrap-Up. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the podcast studio on a Monday night. I'm not in Cleveland this week. Yay! Also, not at Raw. Yay! Uh, we'll get into that. A lot of wrestling. I have survived Wrestle Week. Yes, eight straight days of wrestling or wrestling-related events, including the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Straight! And... I, I'm I'm okay, and I actually watched more wrestling today, and I'm I'm fine, guys. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm just fine. Okay. Or what's it like watching wrestling every day? Listen, Mad, <laughs> Mad Mike is with us from Beacon, New York. He's the only Mayhemer with a future endeavor letter from the WWE, and uh, glad you could join us here. Sorry to leave you hanging last Monday night. No, I don't think you're sorry at all. I, no, because I was having actually a great time in Cleveland. Yeah, and I. I was not having a great time here watching it. It was fantastic in person, man. And maybe we'll it, get was to it. <laughs> it was terrible. It was terrible on television. I, like, dude, I love watching wrestling in Cleveland, just all around. Just sort, from the you indie were shows watching I've wrestling seen live. Raw, it was great. Our seats got updated. Thank you again to Billy Johnson for uh, the contribu- contribution of tickets. Also, thank you, Billy, for. Um, let me hang out with him ringside at AEW Dynamite tapings here in Pittsburgh on Wednesday. Holy shit, that was an experience. I've never been that close to live televised wrestling, or at least like main live, like real live. Like, I've been at like IP reviews, I guess, technically. So, <laughs> anyways, also with us, Nasty Nick Ferry is with us as well. Hey, back What's in up? the studio. You made it back. I'm alive. You, because you, you survived Angel Gate on Saturday. I- I did. You did. I mean, some of those girls, I mean, you see what happened to Ronnie? Oh, my God. He made the mistake of tell, telling their tag team partner to get back in the kitchen. It Ooh. went It went exactly how you think yeah. you would have done a women's show. Yep. That, that's that's not a good message to send. No, no, no. no. And, uh, we'll ask him what he learned from, uh, from, from that uh, tomorrow night. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he learned how many wooden spoons can fit up his ass. I think they took his wallet. I think he took his wallet. No, I, I, seriously, I think they did because somebody's like, take his ATM card. I think, I think they took his wallet. I think they took more than that. You guys, I think they took his wallet. <laughs> okay, I, I'm and, sorry. And a copy of Ooh La La. <laughs> People on audio don't hate me for this. Matt Mike, are you wearing a Spider-Man shirt? I am. Of course he is. I need to see the symbol. Wait, he's it's got Halloween that. Season. Wait a minute. He's got that. I'm rocking a Captain America shirt. And I'm just playing uh-huh. Jane Shire. And then in the you're car? just like I got my Superman hoodie in the car. I can just <laughs> grab it. Wrong no, wrong franchise. <laughs> Still Damn it. I You gotta stay on brand. I yeah, yeah, seriously. It can't be DC versus Marvel. Mm. Um, have you seen DC recently? Mm. Actually I'll I'll give credit where credit's hey, due. Shazam. Titan, Titans is great. Titans is great, Shazam. The anime universe is uh is pretty good right now. Uh, loving that. Uh, I, I'm probably gonna watch Wonder Woman Bloodlines till late. Oh, did that just come out? That if you have DC Universe, you get to watch it for free. Ooh. I Arkham City last I've been night. catching up on Star Trek Discovery. Blasted through the first season. I'm about four deep in the in the second season, trying to get through it well, before my seven day trials up. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, anyways, <laughs> things that are not wrestling. Uh, so what is your good of wrestling this week? I, I mean, kind of told you, you know, uh, um, you know, it, while you know, great to get awesome seats and, and check out some awesome wrestling and 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 local stuff here. Wrestle Rex was a blast on on Thursday night. I mean, just no experience like that, being in in like a concert kind of environment, standing and there's no barricades, and they're like, oh hey, there's Gangrel with a trash can. Look out! Uh, <laughs> so things like that. Uh, it, it was always a blast, and, and and really for me, like the awesome thing this week was like everywhere we went, we just had like groups of Bayhammers, mm-hmm. groups of friends, groups of groups of wrestling friends. It felt like we we filled like half of Primanis in Oakland last week. Mm-hmm. I, if you've seen the pictures, uh, so that was great. And also, um, Kenny Kenny Omega let uh, let Ronnie have Ronnie Starks have the IWGP Championship 
Uh, so uh, and and I I think the entire restaurant applauded. Another belt he didn't earn. <laughs> wow. Oh man! Uh, <laughs> hey, he's the rookie. He's getting hazed at whoa, every whoa, is, possible is. moment. He is, but he is the only mayhemer with a trading card. But wait, 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 wait! He just put it into the chat superman has been boring since the 1940s whoa oh. uh yeah ronnie is actually copying a joke from epic rap battles nice fucking try ronnie jeez the goku versus superman epic rap battle that's that's just copying a joke jeez. so quote your lore quote your lore ronnie i mean i wasn't taking it i have eyes though. everywhere so uh, <laughs> I, I want to get to some of this chat room stuff that's not about Superman. Uh, but, <laughs> Mad Mike, what was the good for you this past week in wrestling? Whoa, <laughs> I know, I I know you got to dig deep. I know you got to uh, dig deep. Something on the Internet, something on Twitter. There's a lot of good gifts. There's a lot of good memes. Oh, oh boy. Um, did your local downtown just swallow a bus? I don't know. Oh, boy. Ours did. Um, <laughs> Pittsburgh had its own um, Titanic. Oh. You know what? The Becky Lynch versus, versus Kyrie same match. Was that was really actually good pretty. That was great. very good. That was that pretty was very good. good. It was it was it was a solid opening to Raw. Yeah, it was yeah. very good. It went downhill from there very quickly, <laughs> but it made up for the lack of women last week in Cleveland, which was a downfall last week. Um, mm-hmm. So, uh, Nick, what about you? Um, I worked Angel Gate this past weekend. Mm-hmm. I just had a blast with that. Honestly, I did. Watching wrestling wise, I'll I was actually impressed with the. False Count Anywhere match tonight. I actually enjoyed it. Like, it was a decent match, and the finish was something you don't see every night. You don't see a forklift get involved in the wrestling match. I've like, been waiting for it, to be honest. Like, especially in, like, Braun Strowman matches and things like that. How are you going to beat him? Oh, there's that time we used a forklift. Oh, cool, we used a forklift again. Yeah. But I love these, like, yelling at people, how do you use this thing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but now, like, now they can't use a forklift that um, you saw they'd be killing me. Mm. You, you think there's forklifts in uh, Saudi Arabia? I mean, there's, I'm sure there'll be something else that's just, more like localized. Uh, What's that localized? Just gonna version? make a joke, and I oh, really I can't do that. Back. I can't do that. Nope, 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 nope. Rolling it back. Okay, just like a forklift. Uh, mm-hmm. From the beep, chat. Beep 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 beep. <laughs> beep. He's on a rolling chair for all of you guys out there. I love that you have a headset, yeah. so you're not actually losing any audio. <laughs> I no no. Thank you, headset. I was, I was trying to make it sound like, like further away, but it just no. It's attached work. to your face, Mike. I I know. I'm, Sorg, I can do things with my voice. I'm not sure if you realize this. He does voice things. Tina's letting us know. Kind of topical. Um, but yeah, there's. Oh some... yeah, that actually. What, what Tina said. What, what Tina's Tina about did. to say. Yeah. Uh. So Tina. Tina says. Um. There's actually going to be a for the culture show. Uh, happening at the collective in April. That was quick, considering this happened like Sunday. Oh, I think that was in. I think that was in motion a while back. Oh, was this okay? So, see, I. I mean, again, not terribly aware of things, but after the Jordan Miles stuff came up, and I know you know our friends like PB Smooth and everybody were talking about it in the hashtag uh, for the culture. I know Rise is uh, really big on that right now. I was, I was sharing some stuff today. Um, so. Uh- yeah, I was referring to the other thing Tina was saying. That was the really other good. thing, watch that that the Prince coming back to his proper past on NXT last week. Mm, that yeah. was legitimately amazing. Yeah. In fact, NXT was legitimately amazing. Yes. AEW, eh, it was okay. The first hour was good. The second hour kind of sucked. I gotta say, I gotta say, generally, uh, AEW kind of meshes together with me because the way they do their tapings. Because it's it starts hot and it ends hot, you know. Oh yeah, because it ends with dark matches that don't matter. It ends with it ends with dark matches that are fucking great. That should be on TV because they don't feature the right people on TV. Uh, I think they're cycling because I mean they. No, had... they're not. They're not cycling. They're what? cycling one person. No, we'll we'll see. We'll see. But I mean, we had like a, I watched a, a Joey Janela. Kenny Omega lights out match from episode two uh, here in Pittsburgh. We got a uh, false. I think it was false count anywhere. Uh, three way with Darby Allen, uh, Jimmy Havoc and um, Jack Evans. 
Mm-hmm. So, which came right by me. I almost got stepped on by the steady cam operator. Uh, so, uh, I mean that that is some fantastic stuff. Like, I think if you watch Dynamite, other than the really bad 3D set they put Tony Schiavone on, um, like it really comparatively wrestling wise is right on par with what Dynamite is doing. So, I, I there's not that big like. You know, even when where we think Raw is, there's Raw and then main events all the way down here. Mm-hmm. It's like Dyna- what they put on TV isn't too far separated from what they're doing on Dark. I, I think despite that, Mike, I think despite the, the, the TV element, they they know a lot of their bread is buttered on YouTube as well. Yeah, but you, you can't be a YouTube company anymore. I can't. You have to be a- no, you have to be a fucking television company. Okay. WWE tried that. But yeah, you'd say, do you have to? I mean, this is 2019, Mike. If you only have Anything one happen. show, mm-hmm. yes, you do. Okay. Like, like so, it's... Do you remember when WWE was doing pre-shows on YouTube? I remember that. Now that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's kind of turned into... It. I mean, they still do kickoff shows on YouTube in every platform. So they're still using that. They're still like, it's still a vital thing for them. Is it really though? But it's one of. I mean, because the the pre show you're still catching on network too, right? Mm-hmm. So if you have network, you're. I, I get See, it as an I, incentive. I, wait, wait, so we're talking about dynamite. We're talking about dynamite, in in, in comparatively, I looked at um, like an episode two or three of AEW Dark, and it was pulling in like six hundred thousand hits or eight hundred thousand hits mm-hmm. or something like that, versus like NXT the first week did eight hundred thousand. Dynamite's doing 1.4 million. I mean, these are, you know, metrics differences aside, but these are comparative numbers yeah. when we're looking at these when they're watching on YouTube. And if you're building a brand, you know, I mean, half the people are watching wrestling. Mike, Mike I know you don't want to believe it, but most of us are watching wrestling on these things. Like, this is happening now, and they are right on the forefront of that. And this is yeah. where I think most well, of their fan base watches all the show, and they're pissed they got to turn a TV on Wednesdays. And that's fine. I I still don't want to do that. But isn't it one of that's those things? That's fine. But the, you, you, are not, you, are not, you are not the general population, Mike, Mad Mike. Um, I don't know, but there's at least a decent amount of people that still watch wrestling on TV. Absolutely. I don't but see, the thing is, they're the same the ones show, still buying the show DVDs on YouTube, at Walmart. To, the show on YouTube to me doesn't matter because there's no storylines. Okay. Nothing Nothing ah, carries over. But it no, gives it nothing a carries over. It gives it a chance to gain views over time. It gains views, and you get another look at these wrestlers. And if you want to see, hey, I want to see more Lucha Brothers, they're in a three way no, match over here. I don't need here. to see more Lucha Brothers. You they don't. Need, I do. Listen, they I do. need to put I on people more. who have Hell not yeah. been on. Dynamite. Okay. I want to see Sonny Kiss on Dynamite. Okay. I want to see more left. He hasn't been on. Okay. Well, Nyla Rose hasn't been on since the first episode. Right. Like, there's a plethora of Rip people. Rip Baker didn't wrestle in the first episode either. We're three episodes, four episodes in. I this? know, but they're supposed to be building to a pay-per-view mm-hmm. in a couple weeks. They have three matches. Mm-hmm. So did Hell in a Shell. And... Yeah, and Hell in a Cell was <laughs> listen, shitty. Listen, we're not bringing that up. Listen, <laughs> listen, I got you. Don't say this, this word, this word, this word, and Hell in a Cell 2019, okay? That's now on the list because it hurts. It hurts it bad. It hurts. We got to see a dark match with red lighting in a steel cage between The Fiend and Seth Rollins in person. It hurts. That ended it in hurts. disqualification. It hurts your soul. No, it didn't end in disqualification. What did that end as then? It ended as Seth Rollins jumping out the it, door. Yep. Wait, hold on. The, the Hell in a Cell? Uh, no, no, no. They're doing a steel cage match. It, that one was a steel cage match. The dark match. Yes. Yeah, so all he had to do to escape. So wait, there was another one. The the, the, yeah. the dark matches. They've been doing it for like the last week. Yep. The so. dark matches every week on Raw has been um, a cage match between the Fiend and Seth Rollins, where the red lighting comes on and Seth escapes the cage, and then the and, Fiend. And, puts and I talked about the this block. on the show Tuesday. Um, by the way. This is the I didn't see anybody leave. Nobody left, and usually, like, yeah, because everyone wants to see the fiend. Mm-hmm. That's the mm-hmm. reason to stay. This is the biggest attraction. Is... John Cena come out and half the arena would leave. Yeah, when he wasn't on Raw. Yeah, because so... yeah, but usually if if he had, 
if John Cena was the dark match, he also had a segment on Raw, so you also got to see him. Mm-hmm. The Fiend, you can't do that. Although apparently the Fiend is going to be on Miz TV this week, which is wow. or Bray Wyatt is. Excuse me. We'll see how that goes, and it's, yeah, it's going to be Fallout. Sure it's going to be Fallout from what happens in uh, at Crown Jewel. So we'll see how yeah. that. The fun I'll... thing is going to be everybody that's been on Crown Jewel being at a SmackDown taping Friday night. <laughs> Holy I shit! I feel bad. Holy I feel shit! That that is is Fuck your sleep. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that is. That is, you say that these guys have have incredible uh, uh, travel schedules. They're probably most of them are. Well, that, are that's probably that's probably private jet. Yeah, but that's still. probably private jet. Uh, yeah, at least it's not commercial. That's probably private. Everyone who's booked on SmackDown that night, that's probably private jet. It's still a flight is a flight. Um, mm-hmm. you know, it, and commercial makes it worse, of course. But but you know, that's that's still going to be crazy to do whatever you have to do. Um, and most of them are probably leaving. You know, after Raw tonight morning whatever to go over there now to yeah. do whatever pre pre press stuff they need to do over there so um it is literally half a world away so yeah uh let's see what else we got here uh <laughs> there's those questions too uh also it's the dark match in st louis tonight is the same thing apparently so i mean hey they know what people want to see um and it's better than what we got in pay-per-view to be quite honest um i don't know what the oh so tomorrow night we're going to talk about nwa because I, I, we have the good guys booked. Good guys. And they are going to be in a War Games match, which is the most NWA thing. Is they're oh going to be in a War Games match, but it's also the most WWF thing because it's going to be a replica of the Big Blue Cage in West Virginia at mm-hmm. Black Diamond Wrestling, which oh, I, I you have no idea how excited. I'm, I'm irrationally excited for this thing. <laughs> it's just this is listen man we get to shoot a lot of great wrestling yes and i am excited about the big blue cage in West Virginia, so man. i can't wait to get in it <laughs> uh we'll talk about that a bit more tomorrow night um but it, it was literally like like i was working on i don't even know what I, I think i was finishing off rwa honestly i think i finally got to rwa like friday i was so busy last week uh from the saturday before and i had on the background while i'm editing you know i, I alternated through aew dark and NWA Power, and I freaking love it. <laughs> it's, it's. I amazing. haven't watched NWA Power yet. It is. It is fantastic. We'll talk about that more tomorrow. But I think. I mean, that's the coolest thing right now. Is is there are so many options. I'm even running out of time on WWE Network to catch up with that stuff. Like I'm not even getting caught up with my 205 Live or my NXT UK, and I feel guilty because now NXT is on USA Network. <laughs> so it's just like, what do I have this for now, right? Mike, how are you justifying your 9.99? Because that used um, to be you paid for NXT. It's a good question. I'm, <laughs> yeah, I, that made a big no, difference. I, I'm honestly, I'm there's not a vacuum sure. now. There really is. Like I, I'm not considering getting rid of it. Not yet, anyway. Mm-hmm. But because I still like watching the documentaries and stuff like that. Yeah, like, me too. Documentaries are very good, but are they ten dollars a month? Good. I don't know. Yeah. I, I mean. Yeah. Ten dollar a a way to look at it is still it's ten dollars a month for a pay per view, true, which isn't true, bad. True, it isn't bad compared to what we used to pay. Hell, compared to what AEW charges for their pay per views. What are they charging for theirs? Fifty bucks. It's fifty bucks. Okay. Yeah, because they're still doing that. It, it is it is fascinating because you do have those Ring of Honor still doing pay per views, but they also do Honor Club, and. And that's like multiple live and new shows a month. So if you're a super fan of that, that's cool. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, mean, I had trouble because I felt like when you get into the big swings with uh, New Japan, it was like, oh, man, this is great. And then mm-hmm. they're like, well, I can't get to this anyways. <laughs> so, um, God, it, it, it's it's interesting. Um, time bomb match like WSX days. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Uh, I think they're talking about uh, uh, ways to finish that uh, Miz and Fiend match, but um, but but it really is kind of a, a great thing, and it's not even getting into the indies and the stuff that's out there, you know. So, um, you know, and just kind of a reminder, guys, if you're like really kind of moaning about Raw, there's other things you can put it on just to know what's going on and just watch something else. Yeah, I mean that's why we put Rise on Monday nights on the on the Twitch feed. To be quite honest, <laughs> Monday Night Rise, you know, it, it's like hey try this over here yeah. right here's another flavor of ice cream as they as the probably so overused flavors. by now moniker right mike mm-hmm. yeah so i don't even know who uses that anymore 
is it's seemingly everybody. Um, <laughs> anyways, um, other than that, so uh, Raw tonight. So what the there was a false count anywhere match. Yep. I know, Nick. You you, you dug that. We we got a we got a forklift. Yes. It, it was it was fine. It was good. It was. I, I want to know why Randy Orton can break the draft rule though. He, uh, I thought he was on Raw. Is he on Raw? I thought he I was on SmackDown. I think he's on Raw now. I don't know. I don't know. I I didn't expect anybody to keep that draft rule in effect. But um. Oh, hold on. now I'm I'm, now, I'm gonna, now I'm gonna actually. I'm look. happy to see we're back to hoodie no sleeves on Orton. That's my favorite Orton. You know what my favorite Orton is? Mm. Injured. Oh. oh wow. All right. Okay. Not injured. Off TV. Uh, the favorite favorite taking a hiatus. The, That's your my favorite, favorite Orton is at home eating ice cream. Orton. Yep. There you go. <laughs> at home, at home eating and ice cream. And staying off Twitter because he needs to stay the fuck. At up. home eating ice cream, uh, with his uh, uh fake wife. And he also needs to stay off Twitch. Stay, he's on Twitch. He, oh, what the hell's he doing on Twitch? Uh, Sorg, you don't want to know what he was doing on Twitch. I. You don't want to know what he said on Twitch. Oh no. Oh no! Yeah, I kind of want to know what he said on Twitch. Um. Well, let's let's just say it kind of goes in line with all the hubbub happening with Jordan Miles. Oh boy! <laughs> you know Jordan what? I'll just leave this thing where like it, it seems like Instagram's in this nice part where Randy Gordon does something weird on Twitter mm-hmm. visually, and I get the picture eventually, yeah. and then we all pose with the John Cena um fireman. Yeah. At the movie theater, as we have been lately, if you've been yeah. following our social media, <laughs> uh, I got my made Riz do it uh, uh, about a week and a half ago. Uh, so you know, lots of options there. Yeah, so Orton is better seen, not heard. Mm. And ah. by, seen, by seen and not heard, I also mean seen, not wrestling. Oh, if he just like runs in and and like he he just runs in RKO's people for like the rest of his career, I'm kind of okay with this. Yeah. I am not okay with it because fuck that. <laughs> Just go away. No one over 40 should be on a televised wrestling product in 2019. But it's an RKO oh, out of nowhere. No. It, it's always out of somewhere. It's always out of somewhere. The only time he's ever hit it out of nowhere is when the camera literally doesn't show him coming. But what about the one against Evan Bourne? That was still out of somewhere. It was from the ground. <laughs> and... When, when Randy Orton somewhere. defies gravity is the best. What, what no, about the one Randy against Randy Orton was the one defying gravity. <laughs> <laughs> that was Evan Bourne. Yes, true. Ugh. Yeah, Tina was saying Sork, he uttered that word on a gaming stream. Oh. So there were probably little kids watching. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on, Randy. Fuck. Hey, you know, this is why I'm saying. Wait, there was a there was a bad word? It was a bad oh, word, apparently. The baddest of words, some might say. One of the baddest words. It's it's a really bad word. It's a word I won't say on this show. I have a first it's, letter. It's, it's on the list. I don't say in real it's life. It's on the list, just like Hell in a Cell 2019. Um, but anyways, damn it. Damn it. Randy You're... Orton's a little bit older than me, Tina. Um, anything but else? He is over 40. Anything else from Raw? Are we really grown about that ending? Why are, why are the Iconics just there at a job now? The Iconics were there, though. Yeah. Yeah, but they were they were on, I mean, not that I watched it, but they were on Total Divas, too. Oh, really? What were you not watching on Total Divas that I'm doing? Uh, they were not drinking. Okay. Good yes. Time. Yeah, actually, they. I was, I was pretty time. proud of them. Uh, they're like one of, I mean, not saying everybody in WWE drinks, but like, when you watch that show, you see everybody partying, and then like all of a sudden, mm-hmm. it's like the iconic's kind of like, "We're taking shots of water." That's British, not Australian. I can't. You know what? Australian. It's close enough for me. Yes, and I it's was better like, than what I could probably pull off. Yes, the every every single thing I see about the iconics just makes them even more of a delight. Mm-hmm. So good, good for the iconics. Besides the temper tantrum in Pittsburgh, that was amazing. Oh uh, no, that, <gasps> that was, was the amazing. best. Have you not seen the gif of Billy throwing a temper tantrum to, to rock music? Like to yeah. rock music? It's so great. Oh, you need okay. to. Yeah, you need to. Like it it's really good. Um, Sorg, should we talk about marital infidelity? 
<laughs> Mike, you're not even married yet. <laughs> the main event of Raw. Oh yes, it was. It was. It was like you know life's battle battle with infidelity. I I guess at, um, at least at least this wasn't a a segment of someone not being good at sex or not being able to have sex. Rusev is the exact opposite. He wanted way too much sex. No 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 no. Oh, but geez. here's what Lana said. Lana said uh-huh. that. Bobby Lashley told her that Rusev cheated, but then that would have to go back to the whole Maria thing. Mm-hmm. And we can't do that right now. Yeah. 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 Uh, well, I just, and all right. So here's the thing. No, no, like, no, no, no. This is no, a, no, no, no. This is, I got, this, I got this a theory that you're done. Because if, if the character of Rusev really is a sex addict <gasps> and Lana knows this and has not helped him try to get counseling, She's a bad wife. She's an exactly. Mm. She should be trying to help him. Okay. Is there... oh, I can't even say it. All right. Oh, so here's my. I'm just thing. saying that's a, that's a real condition. Given the nature of how this has been going so far, mm-hmm. what will happen? Here's what I predict. What will okay. happen is going to be we're going to find out that she he cheated on her with Naomi, which brings in the Usos, whichever one she's married to, and um and uh, tag teams. I can't tell them apart. Um, wow. <laughs> we talked about this, didn't that, we? That's going, that's going in a lot of different directions. This, this, this is like how story. I couldn't f- tell which rocker was which. I couldn't tell which was Sean and Marty for the longest time. I just Damn, never like learned who which one was which or which <laughs> doink is which on the too. tag team at, they, at Survivor they, Series. They look nothing alike. What? <laughs> Listen. Sean was the one with talent. Matt and Jeff Hardy never couldn't even. Nope. Wait, you couldn't tell Matt and Jeff apart? I just never learned it. Sorg, I worry about you. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit worried about you on that. Sorg, Listen, man, you know twins in real life? I know. <laughs> I There were some in my class. Um, Did you know up. which one was which of them? Never. Never. Okay. Never. Nope. Igor so, and Igor. So, Internet, if you really want to confuse Sorg, show him two of almost the same exact thing. He'll never know. The I've difference. been I've been watching uh, Paul Rudd's uh, Living with Myself on Netflix, and it's a oh, fucking Jesus, nightmare for me. That must be confusing as hell for you. I don't you. know what the fuck is going on. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, I worry about you. It, 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 it took me about four episodes to figure out his wife was like Irish. Okay. Oh God. I just can't play accents. Anyway, oh, uh, Tina Tina wants to know if we have a comments on the after the bell after the bell. Was podcast. that with our friend of the show, Corey Graves? Yeah, the one he's our, I'm going to subscribe to it. To be to be quite honest, um, um, I, I think I think he should become a Patreon first before we subscribe to him. He should be a patron of us. Yes. <laughs> hey, he has to support his fellow podcasters. Um, <laughs> got support. You know. Without support, podcasting will die. You know, you know, his son tra- started tra- training here in Pittsburgh recently. That's not surprising. Uh, over at the uh, the uh, battlegrounds. Yep. I, I, was it a part of the kids' class? Was that what, what was going on? Well, Quinn Magnum is the one who trained Corey Graves. Right, right, right. And, and I right. guess Corey wanted that same mm-hmm. path for him. Which I mean, that's I mean that's phenomenal. Because mm-hmm. I mean. Quinn trained Corey. Mm-hmm. Look where it got him. Mm-hmm. I guess Corey's got the same mentality, and you never know. You never know. But if we have one day Corey Graves' son in Vice Society, where is that going to lead? Fist up, throw down, brother. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's all I can say. That's all I can say. Um, no, I'm interested in it. And, and I, he's been, I mean, he's been kind of doing these little video teasers talking you know being Corey, being okay being more sterling or mad or whatever um so i wonder i wonder how controversial he's gonna get on that show well it's an interesting week for them to be talking on that show isn't it oh it sure as shit is and it's a pro and he promises that they're gonna get down and dirty with things I don't think that's going to be true. We'll see what happens <laughs> with this. I don't think that's going to be the know, case. I didn't know you were going to be tested out right out of the gate there, buddy. Um, but uh, not, for, not a good week to start a podcast. Listen, 
Listen, man. Listen. Uh, uh, this is like the opposite of of live sex celebration. Some ten years the ago, worst week to start a podcast. Listen, some ten years ago, Corey Graves uh, uh, joined us for the first time on this podcast, and I'm glad that we've inspired him. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Hashtag mayhem bump. I swear, if there's a stoke monkey that pops up on his podcast. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, I, I thought mean, I heard one of his videos saying it was going to be absolute mayhem. I'm like, really, bro? Uh huh. Uh huh. Really? Remind me to retag all of my Corey Graves uh, past stuff I put on YouTube. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, remember, remember that one time when we podcasted with him and and the boxer Butter, Butterbean. That was fucking surreal. Um, oh, by the way, one one last thing. Mm-hmm. So uh, they're, they're talking about Tyson Fury and Braun Strowman. That's the first time an, an undefeated boxer has gone up against the WWE superstar. Isn't mm-hmm. that bullshit? It's Floyd fucking yes. Mayweather. Yes. Was he a champion at the time? He, he was not only a champion, he was, was undefeated. Yeah. yeah. Heavyweight. Yeah. Heavyweight. Um, no. Didn't they say heavyweight? I don't know if they said heavyweight. Does it I really believe. Matter, I though? believe that is. It doesn't a, matter, but still, because like, Floyd just... was anything but a heavyweight. Yeah. So. Oh, speaking of which, I watched that WrestleMania match the other day. Yeah. And um, ah, original Nexus member. He was one who really didn't do anything. Um, yeah, um, um, narrow that down. Oh Mike, no, no, Mike, no! The one who came mm, out Michael with the Tarver. face mask, Michael, Michael, Tarver. Michael Tarver, was yeah. one of the handlers in that match. Hmm. Yeah, because Michael Tarver was a boxer. Makes sense. Makes sense. Michael Tarver was a boxer. Just like um, fucking Mongo walked LT down to the ring. Mm. Yeah, but was Tarver really doing anything, doing anything with boxing at that time? I don't think, yeah. Yeah, I think he was. He was like, a, I think, I thought he was like a gold glove champion at some point. Hmm. Yeah, but doesn't that go to the same thing of like No Way Jose being part of the... Uh, no, 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 it wasn't No Way Jose. It was Braun Strowman being part of the Rosebuds. Oh, there were a lot of Braun... part of the Rosebuds. And that's what I'm saying. Becky Lynch was a Rosebud. Yeah, I mean, everyone was. Right. Elias everyone was... in NXT who didn't have a gimmick was a Rosebud. I mean, I might have been a Rosebud. I don't know at this point. Just like the 17-year-old that was part of ECW. I don't know. Can we talk about how Mambo Italiano was on, like, TV, like four different TV shows last week? Really? Yeah. Well, Yes. Well, actually, he was on one show twice, I think. Um, <laughs> well, he was on main event, and he was on Raw in the. Um, he was on main event as one of the conga line. Thank you, Joe Dombrowski, for reminding me what to call them. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, he was on in the restaurant scene where all hell broke out with Rusev last week, right? Yeah. Also, never eating anywhere with my wife in Cleveland. Um, and he was. To be fair, you shouldn't have wanted to do that anyway. Well, there. To be fair, I, I waited for the sheets by the highway. Yeah. Um, and uh, he was on AEW as one of the security in the the when the fucking Dippin' Dots got taken out. I wanted Dippin' Dots that night. Uh, <laughs> Coming soon, Rocky Roads. <laughs> Rocky Roads is happening. <laughs> I love wrestling. Dippin' Dots said, please don't right, hurt I, my Dippin' Dots. I, I and say, then... Sorg, um, I may do tomorrow night's show entirely as Rick from Rick and Morty. Why? Because Rick and Morty are going to be on AEW. What? Wait, can you do the Rick voice? Oh, look at me, Morty! Look at me, Sorg! I'm on a podcast! Mm. It's, not, it's not great, but no, I don't care. Great. It's not great, but you're trying. You're trying, and that's I mean, acceptable. I can, I can almost do the AE sports guy, so. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Anyways, I, there was something else I wanted to touch on on the way out. I don't even know, but Rombo Otanio, no, fuck, that guy's going to get signed in the next year. He's everywhere. Jack Pollock was on AEW, and I didn't see it. Well, he was, God, it was a picture. It was a picture of him. It was him. It was uh, Britt, Adam Cole, and Jack Pollock in the same picture when they were doing the montage about Britt's, like, homecoming oh and okay yeah so we're like oh, oh yeah that makes sense. oh fuck jack pollock look at that <laughs> i didn't even know it's adam cole it's like the hey the guy on the other shows on this one <laughs> and I love, there's a headline this is fucking fucking wrestling cheats and shit uh like headline adam cole appears on aew fuck you it's a picture come on we're all in on it jeez but they got so many clicks out of that you watch <laughs> 
That's I ate. Mm, mm. Anyways, guys, uh, what are we on tomorrow night? We're gonna be talking about NWA or something. I don't know. I'm gonna be talking NXT. I just hope nothing more depressing happens in wrestling. Cause I don't wanna... <laughs> just wait till Thursday. <laughs> wait till Thursday. Yeah, yeah. Halloween uh, panic. I I I'll be going trick or treating. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. At 1 o'clock in the afternoon? I'll be at work. Yeah, you know. Yes, so will I. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to find the feed. I don't know why I lost the feed to see if there's anything else from you guys. Uh, I can't, I can't Adam Rose right looks now. totally different. Adam, what? Adam uh, Rose looks totally different. He was different. Played with the welterweight champion. But it doesn't matter. He was still an undefeated boxing champion. Guys, an hour ago, they just pulled the bus out of the sinkhole. And it's a fan- about time. And it's a it's a fantastic sight. Mm. Holy shit! Fucking Sandra Bullock needs to lay her foot off the gas. What? This is ridiculous. What the fuck with this town? I just just life is unrealistic right now. Um, Ronnie Starks put up a picture earlier. Tony Hawk Pro Skater Pittsburgh Edition. Oh, dude, I I, I dropped. <laughs> oh, <there's- laughs> did he put a skate? Did he put one of the skate letters at the top of the bus? So basically, was the bus sitting there and it just sinkled? Was, it, was, the, was what happened? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Like it was, and it's there right, was a car behind it's it, It's right too. by, like, it's right by the West End, right by the convention center, yeah. you know, like where, where the furries go and everything, and it's just like, there's just a hole. The big it hotel. Just, right downtown. Convention center. It's crazy. This is our local news. I'm sure I'm sure it's everywhere, and it, it has to be, because it's so ridiculous, because where else is there, in a major metropolitan area, just a sinkhole in the middle of the town? With a bus in it. With a bus in it. <laughs> of, all, of all the things could have gotten swallowed the bus and then the way it was positioned looking like the titanic yeah yeah well at the very least at least it wasn't like you know one of those uh pedal drinking uh things that go on down there you know or 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 a uh or an automatic uber car or something oh god or driving a uber car oh god oh wouldn't that be fantastic that's a, that's a good metaphor there think of that. um hey we will have also this friday shane taylor will be here Nice. Yeah, in studio, probably where you're sitting, Nick, uh, the ROH TV champion. I'm Where's sure. Rev? Uh, I don't know. I just kind of, I kind of expect him to show up with him. I, was, I, I just wanted to I grab didn't. him. Just... <laughs> oh, he's over in there. Oh, that Rev. Yeah. <laughs> I want to get a picture of Shane with the Rev face. It won't feel let me do it. <laughs> uh, old friend of the show, Shane Taylor, joining us, and the main event uh, will be joining us on the 13th, actually. So looking forward to that. No word on if Liddy the Lion will be joining us as well. So, those guys have been around. We haven't caught up with them in like over a year, and they've been like everywhere. <laughs> they've been in like other countries. So, Sorg, Sorg it's also going to be our Halloween special, right? Huh? Our Halloween special. Tomorrow? Yeah. Well, it certainly can't be the week after. <laughs> yeah, that'd be weird, right? Um, I That'll guess be like our All Saints Day special. I guess we'll do something. This this just means I get my cane mask and wear it right, again, right? Yeah. Okay. Have a cane mask? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's the, like a kid's I one. Oh, I think I know what I'm going to wear. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think I, I just saw it. I'm good. like, oh yeah, that's here. And you guys, make sure you dress up in the ta- in the in the, dr- in the uh, chat room as you join and, us and here. Be sure to post pictures of yourself in your costume. There will be a costume contest. That's right. We that's right. The winner, uh, and the winner will get magical prizes. Potter has already tagged us in a picture of him with no pants. Uh, so that is job, not Potter. a costume. That is a way of life. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, jeez. Unless you're being Donald Duck, in which case you better have a sailor hat on. Oh, God. Wrestling. Nick. <laughs> Nick Farah. I got nothing. He'll be, you'll hear him on Angel Gate uh, when that releases later this week on uh, pwxangelgate.com. I think I got that right. I don't know. I hope so. He keeps changing it on me. pwnnetwork.com? pwnnetwork.com. It's there, too. But, Plug it. <laughs> but not for long. Dun, dun, dun. Ha, <laughs> ha, branding. Uh, Mad Mike, <laughs> 4883 on the Twitter. YouTube.com slash Poppy. And I'm at Sorgatron, all the places where you want to see Sorgatron things. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, guys, thank you so much. Again, we'll be here 7 p.m. Tuesday. With the good guys. We'll see you then. Mayhem out. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Wait for the perfect time in the town. Don't give up what you want. Take it back. Wait for the perfect time in the town.
This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.